How's it going? Pretty excited. Um, so, a little bit of an update. My buddy that has the blue mini truck is back in town and we're gonna be painting the mini truck like I said we were. And uh, we've gotten the RV running. Um, haven't really shown that, but it is running. Um, but the thing is, when I made that video about the mini truck and the, you know we had planned on painting it, I did not expect to be painting one. I did not expect to be painting a mini truck of my own, the same color, everything. So it's kind of uh, funny. I mean, I was looking for one, like I said, but I didn't expect to be painting my own mini truck at the same time. So um, a little bit of an update is I have the bed rack kind of mocked up already. And uh, so these are the pipes that I bent. This was from the existing bed rack, and I got um, kind of like a rough shape of what it's going to be like. I still need a completely weld. Uh, I kind of just kind of did a little bit more of a uh, kind of like a spot weld. Um, I still need to fully finish welding everything, uh, and there are bars. I got some C channel that I'm going to be putting across so I can mount the tent and uh, I'll have some space in the back uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna put back there but there will be some extra space because of the long bed um, as far as right now what I'm gonna be doing to the truck is prepping it um, we are painting Saturday this weekend and uh, so as right now I'm simply just gonna be removing some stuff that I can remove that I don't need uh, in order to drive the truck around because I will drive it to Jack's to paint it as well as sand any rust uh, such as the spots uh, right now I'm gonna focus on this side you know remove any little panels I can remove door handle thinking about removing it when I get to Jack's maybe tape it off along with this um, but yeah I'm just gonna be sanding any bare metal any rust Hopefully remove this without breaking it. Uh, remove this and just little things here and there. I'll still need to remove the bumper and headlights and rear lights when I get to Jack's because like I said, I'm going to drive it there. Um, once I sand it, I am going to be painting it, hitting it up with some primer. This is an epoxy primer. Uh, this is kind of expensive. It was a $23 a can. Um, but the reason I got this is because it's pretty strong and uh, also I'm hoping that it's not going to re- like if I I did buy some uh, Rust-Oleum primer uh, but the thing with the cheaper primer uh, is that it might react with the top coat that we're going to do uh, be putting on so that's why I got something that's a little bit uh, higher quality and won't react as much to the top coat so I don't I mean not that this paint job is going to be crazy nice because I'm not doing any bondo, I'm not doing any body work. Uh, for example, um, I guess you can see here. I don't know what happened here. Some slight dents. Not fixing that. Uh, the hood. The hood I might buy a new one because they're relatively affordable. Uh, I think it's like 120 bucks. Um, there's a dent here some more dents here but yeah I'm not fixing anything like I did the Land Cruiser this is simply gonna paint and take it off-road and if something happens it happens and I'll just touch it up with paint pretty much but as far as body work it's gonna stay exactly the way it is giving the truck a light sanding to rough up the surface to give some uh, texture so the paint can adhere a little bit better. Um, 
and I don't know if you guys recognize this Forerunner, but uh, some of my earlier videos, we did a few videos on the Forerunner, and that's also getting painted as well, along with the, uh, my buddy's mini truck that's in the garage. Uh, we're gonna do all trifecta um, tomorrow. All right, so we're finally ready to paint. The truck's already been prepped. About to get it taped off right now, and then we'll move it into the garage and uh, start painting. So, I guess let me show you the um, the other mini truck. Um, I guess you might have seen it a while back when we were doing the engine swap. So here's where it's at right now. So it's pretty much the same stage as my truck. We've already got it prepped. We just need to tape it down, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and be painting these all uh, these two trucks together. And there's still a little bit more. So we got the engine in there and, and still some electrical we need to figure out. Um, it's not quite running yet, but you know, hopefully we'll get that running soon so we can uh, take these two trucks off-roading. I'm super excited with the way the truck came out. We are done, it's been cured, and it's in the sun, and let's take a look at it. Maybe this side. So here's how the mini truck turned out. It turned out really good. Jack did a really good job. Um, I'm super excited. Now, like I said, I didn't do much work on the body, 
So any dents that were there are still there. You can see some on the hood. There's a big one right here, you can see. Um, but that's okay, because the plan of this truck, and it's still the plan, is to off-road it. And uh, I didn't want to do any body work, because eventually I'm going to get more dings and dents and hits and scratches, and it was just going to be a bunch of work for nothing. So, here's a truck. We also painted Evan's truck. Um, you might have seen this 4Runner in uh, a couple of my early videos we finally got this painted right now we're actually in the process of painting the top and painting my rear bumper because uh, I didn't want to put the rear bumper on because it was kind of faded black and rusted and it just wasn't gonna look nice with the my new paint job and then also uh, we got uh, my buddy's uh, pickup truck painted as well we painted them pretty much together so his truck is exactly like mine, identical except uh, for the short bed. So we got his painted as well and it turned out great. Uh, one thing we've been talking about, I don't know if anybody knows why, but so his short bed has three hooch, uh, hooch has three uh, hooks or latches and mine only has two. If anybody knows why we're just curious as to why this one has three and mine has two also his tailgate has two and mine has none so that's just one thing you know little things like that we're just like you know why would they do that and you would think that mine because it has a long bed that it would have the three hooks and this one would have the two hooks because it's a short bed but i don't know just one of those little things where you know we noticed between our trucks and just curious as why they did that but um that's gonna be pretty much it i hope you i hope you liked the way the truck turned out because i know i did and um now it's just uh putting the truck truck back together there's a few little things here and there and uh continue driving it and get back to work on the bed rack because i need to finish that so i can put that on there but uh yeah that's gonna be it for now check y'all later